Oh, that's a great spot to hoist it. We bring the forklift over and we can yeah, hang this okay. up there. I'm gonna bring it over. This beast of an engine would crush our regular hoist. So I'm gonna use the forklift to pick it up. Whenever you're ready, do not drop it. Whoa! Go a little more. Seems a little back heavy, Jason. All right, watch your fingers. Sweet. That front corner look OK? Doesn't look like you could jump off. I'm swinging it. Watch yourself. Yeah, we definitely want to get it down as soon as we can. Going to clear it? So far, so good. Don't turn anymore, though. I'm just getting this closer to the okay. ground. So much safer with it down. You go back here. You shouldn't be able to hit nothing. That is big, man. Look at the size of that thing. It's massive. All's well that ends well. Now, the chassis is ready to go to the sandblaster. Just looking at these panels. They don't look too bad. No? The edges look like crap. Yeah, it's yeah, a little work. So. Kiki's going to lend me and Tony a hand on the paint and body work, on account of that we have so much going on with the 37 Buick. I guess you want to get these over to the body shop and start degreasing them and stuff. This car's got a lot of panels that are lightweight and oddly shaped. That means that the work can get really tedious really quick. Hey, Mike, come check it out. What you got? These belly pans are pretty beat up. Oh, yeah. So we're going to need some aluminum welding. You know anybody that does that around oh, here? Oh, it's busted really good right here, too. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy can hit it up and knock it out. But we're going to have to probably strip it now. OK. When it comes to stripping, you know I'm always game. But that's not this kind of stripping. This panel is so thin and delicate that if I hit it with a sandblaster, it's probably going to warp it. So we're going to use aircraft paint stripper to remove all this old red paint. I want to show you something. <laughs> this is <Do> not... <laughs> aircraft I just saw that. paint remover. Do not use on aircraft. <laughs> well, it's not an aircraft, so we can use it on it. It says harmful if swallowed. Clears my sinuses. They call me iron lung. Hey, we need more. I can't breathe. I bet you're supposed to wear a respirator with this. I got to go get my mask. That sizzling sound, that's the paint being melted right off the metal. Imagine if you got that in your eye. It's easy to scrape off, but it makes kind of a toxic mess. I always think this is a good idea until I do it. All that's left is to hold my nose, shovel away this red sludge, then I can hand the panel over to Jeremy to fix. Make sure you wash your hands if you go to the bathroom. Speaking from experience? Speaking from experience. <laughs> You're already getting after the dash. Hell yeah, yeah. Like Good it done. We have done a lot of work the last couple of days. That's what I like to hear. The sound of making money. Uh-oh. Here's something. There's nothing here. What did you say? You say you wanted the car done quick. Oh, man. So you see how much of it is still left. You know what uh, speed we work at. So where are we at for sure? OK, so your, your chassis is at the blaster. It's going to be back later today. OK. Mike, Tony, and Keenan have got all the body panels ready to paint. The floor of the fabbing's done. The panel under the radiator's done. The majority, I'd say 90, at least 90% of the fabrication's done. That'd we just sent a huge yeah. batch of stuff out for nickel plating. What color are we going on the chassis itself? I think it should be silver, kind of like it was, but a little better silver than it was. And that's for the frame itself. That's the only thing that's silver. Like a, a semi-gloss, not gloss like that. If you put a semi-gloss frame and then you go and put bright nickel bolts in it, it's not going to look right. And we're going with like a, a British racing green. Yeah, and actually, I've been doing a lot of research. I found a 34 model Schaefer 8 that it was dark green. So we actually are doing something that was done back then. So that's actually changing the car to making it more like what it was back then or what it's supposed to resemble. We have to make a decision on color for engine and trans. Now, my suggestion is a really, really dark maroon because the green is really dark, the black is dark. All right, cool. That works for me. This car's got to be done right, mostly because the guy that's looking at it knows vintage cars. But on top of that, it's got to be done on time because if I miss that, then I'm missing out on the sale, and that hurts me the most. We've got a new rear window to replace the busted one, but the channel that holds it in is useless without some repair. In order to put a new window in it, we got to glue a new one in it, but it can't stick to rust, or the window will just yeah, fall out. Sandblasting will take the rust right off. Tony thinks it'll fall apart, but I think uh, I think it can be saved and put back in. Still in one piece. Feeling kind of cocky today. After a healthy application of glue, some painter's tape will hold the glass in the track. 
And with the bag in the tailgate, we'll let it dry in place. Get this car done. After the boys replace that back window. Bam. Done. Now we gotta make it run. Ah, We've still got one last thing we need to fix. They must really be busy over on the mechanic side, because now this painter is gonna try to get this blazer running. We'll see if it starts. Make sure it's not in gear. <laughs> Make hey. sure it's not in hey. gear. <laughs> All right, it's not starting. As always, there's three things to check. Air, fuel, and fire. That's a big old carburetor. With the air filter off and a squirt of go juice, fire in a hole. Any fuel. Next, check for spark. That's our fire. See that wire right there? That's what Going to the out. distributor? Yes, that one. That's loose. Look at this. A pain guy fixing cars? <sighs> Don't get used to it. Give it a bang. Oh, yeah. So badass. I'm like super mechanic. Let's hit the streets, boys. I can't believe it's the three on the tree. I can't believe it rides as good as it does. Do it to it. I'd cruise this thing everywhere. It doesn't smell like cat pee anymore, either. Cat piss. Make it hot. Oh, yeah, make it hot. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a low rider. Oh, yeah. Hit it. <laughs> I can see you coming off the <laughs> Oh, my God. You guys think you're all funny in the games, right? I will say it's the first time I've ever seen a blazer do a uh, wheelie. <laughs> well, we were, I mean, checking the brakes and suspension and the throttle response is excellent. Well, let's just hope you didn't break anything you had to fix. Ah, oh, she runs great. <laughs> it's about as clean as it would get. Yep. All right, I also said take off the fog lights. Fog lights, the reason we didn't take those off is because it has a hole underneath it. And It'll just be a hole. Yeah, but it's all rusty around it. I mean, I can do it. We can take them off. It's not a big deal. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, just holes. Take them off because also the wires are hanging down and what have you. It looks like It's a wheelie cool blazer. It's a wheelie cool it's blazer. It's a wheelie cool blazer. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I'd love to have fun, but I don't like having fun when it comes to money. So when y'all got it done and it's perfect, call me. I'll call my buyer and tell him he can come look at it. All right. I think he's mad because we made a wheelie. I think so. It was fun, though. <laughs>